Hello there, and how are you doing today? Oh, I'm very happy to hear that. And so am I. In fact, I am two days away from being declared officially normal. <laughs> how do you like that? I'm going to be normal, normal. Well, that means I've had both my vaccinations and I will have gone through two weeks of post vaccination what do you call it observation anyway hmm. so in a couple more days i will be normal oh, world watch out <laughs> well anyway welcome to ryanair 182 oh and the kamikaze buses are out there to get me so they are definitely very normal <laughs> now we're going to continue with this flight that we began last week this is part two now in part one if you remember george asked me to do a flight between gatwick and dublin which we did and of course i made a Picture perfect landing at Dublin Airport, didn't I? <laughs> yes, of course, the crowd roars. <laughs> and today we're going to go with part two, which was requested by I Talk Games, is his YouTube handle. I think that's how you call, refer to them as handles, right? Okay. Well, anyway. He requested me to do a short flight between Dublin and Manchester. And it is a short flight, There's nothing much to it at all. So that is what we will do today. So here we are. We're at stand 124, exactly where we parked and set up last week. And we're going to now go into the pre-preparation and have a look at the weather, the previous flights, and see what's up there. There is, I believe, Aer Lingus does this flight. So we are going to follow Aer Lingus on this. Is that okay? All right. Then let's go into pre-preparation and have a look. Now, in preparing for this flight, I went online and discovered that Aer Lingus is still flying this route between Dublin and Manchester. The flight number is Aer Lingus 202 or EI202. So I've gotten it up here on Flight Aware. And this particular flight arrived six hours, 35 minutes ago. Now looking at the route, this looks a little fun. So the winds are showing, blowing generally from the west to the east. If we look at this, looking at the arrival and departure. Now let's have a look at the altitude. Uh, the altitude is 21,000 feet, so we will follow that same altitude. Now let's have a look at the weather. The weather for Dublin is wind is 080 at 9 knots, varying from 030 to 110. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more and definitely VFR. So we have no trouble being able to have good visibility taking off. 
and there's the runway. Now looking at our destination in Manchester, winds are a little interesting there. Let's Yes, there's uh, definitely some changeable weather at this particular point, but it's still showing VFR. So the wind variable is two knots. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more. And here is the runway information. Right, let's go in and let's make our flight plan. So here we are in Simbrief. We are ready to make our flight plan. Airline is Ryanair. We are flight 186. We're going to be departing from EIDW. <coughs> And we're going to go to EGCC. Newcastle is our alternate airport. We're going to be flying our standard Ryanair flight. Schedule flight time is an hour and five minutes according to this. We are full. Cargo is one ton, half a ton up front, half a ton behind. Departure runway is being shown as 10 right, arrival as 05 right. We're going to set the flight level as 1 to 1. It's come up with this for the routing. And here's the national airlines. So we're using that same flight plan that was just used. Let's have a look down here. Well, there's the route. Okay. We'll go up, we will save the flight and generate the flight plan. And here we are. There's the aircraft. Origin, destination, alternate, cruise altitude. Airtime is 41 minutes, block fuel is 4965. There's the routing, no remarks to concern ourselves about. And here's all the information. Now let's have a quick look at the weathers. Ah, yes. There's the frontal area. We'll be flying directly into that. And the winds are going to be, well, pretty much crosswinds all the way across. There's 140, there's 180. And there's the profile. Right. We're all set to go. So let's go ahead and climb into the cockpit and get ourselves ready to fly. Welcome aboard. Take your seat. Have you finished your walk around the aeroplane? Everything okay? Good. Tires are all inflated, I hope. <laughs> we have the fuel on board. We're all set to start up 
back away and fly over to Manchester. The kamikaze buses are still floating around here. We'll have to watch out for them. And this bloke out here, well, we'll have to see what he wants. Well, first of all, we turn on the, the battery, turn on the fuel pumps, and let's start the APU. The APU, the auxiliary power unit is in the tail of the aircraft and not only does it generate electricity but it also generates air it's a compressor as well and the compressor is what forces all of the warm air or cold air as we need it into the cabin that goes through those nozzles over your head when you're sitting in the passenger seats and it also gets redirected to turn those big turbine fan engines but right now we're just in the startup stage and the engine gas temperature is coming down as soon as this light goes blue we'll know ah we now have 115 volts so turn on the irs that's to get our gps location Turn on the galley, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seatbelt, left and right windows, eat, and the left and the right electrical hydraulic pumps. Now I'm going to turn on the APU bleed and listen for that rush of air coming through. There we go. That's the compressor rushing that air through. Okay. The lights indicate that the forward service hatch is open and the air stairs are down. Our passengers will be coming out of that door shortly. Okay. We're ready to, then to start the programming the CDU. Right, we're going to put our position in here and we are at EIDW. And now we need to have a look at the charts to see what our parking stand coordinates. And we are at gate 124 so that says we should be 53, 25, 8, and 6, 14, 9. And there it is. So put that in the temporary, and we are now located. So we go then to our route, and we are at EIDW. Well, destination is EGCC. Flight number is Ryanair RRY186. Go down to the next page. We're going to go direct to Liffey. That's our first port. And that will be the first one. Then we're going to, going to go via Lima 975. So Lima 975 to Mallard. M A L U D. Activate. Our fix is going to be. EGCC. We're going to have a four mile radius, 10 mile radius, 30 mile radius, 40 cent. We're going to put the information in for these three flight levels. Nine and nine are six. 
is the Q&H in Manchester. At 200, the wind and speed is 252 and 8. And then at 150, it is 242 at 7. And at 100, it is 272 at 4. Now, the flight plan tells us we will be leaving from runway 10 right. But let's find out, shall we, by tuning in to the ATIS and finding out. Dublin International Airport Information, India 1436, Zulu, wind 072, at minor visibility greater than 20 miles, sky condition of few clouds at 1300, few clouds at 1800, 2800, scattered temperature 13, 2.8, altimeter minor, minor 6, landing and departing runway 10. The FR aircraft same direction of flight. All aircraft are in back hold short instructions and eyes controller on initial contact you have India. Well we have information India and it looks like we are going to be departing on 10 right, which means that we will be using the Kensha 3 Foxtrot departure. And we'll put that in. And then for our arrival, it is ILS 05 right is what we're coming in on. And we'll be using the Mercy 2B approach. So there's the Mercy 2B. And now we'll just go ahead and check the legs and see whether the flight has any problems. So far so good. That is a good flight. Okay, we are ready and set with that. Now go into position and let's do this. We've got just about five tons of fuel and we are going to need 2371, the trip and taxi is 1968, that makes 4,339, close enough to 4.3 for the whole trip, 4.3. Clearance delivery, world travel. Our reserves are Tower at runway one zero, ready for takeoff, IFR2, and Cost index is six. Our flight altitude is two one zero. And the average wind is 286 at 4. The transition altitude is 5,000. And we will go next. Do 13 on here. Take off. It's a long runway here, so we'll have no problem. And here's the calculations from the computer. Since we'll be departing on runway 10 right, it'll be 97 degrees 
that we need to put in for our headings. Our flight up here is 21,000. The elevation of the airport is 257 feet, so we'll put 250 in here for our landing altitude. Okay, so far. Now we'll just do a quick check, make sure that we have we have a good flight plan. So we'll activate that. Right. The passengers are on board, so we'll bring up the stairs and close the hatch. Attendants give out the sweeties and the stale peanuts. Ha ha ha! Oh well. Now the other thing that we need to do is put in our decision height and that is going to be 386. So we'll just turn this to 386 and that way we will know whether we are going to land or not. All right, looking good. I think it's time now to get our clearance. And let's see what that, that is. That's 1 to 1.87. So 1 to 1 and 87. have our route to the active we've been given our clearance passengers are on doors are all closed so now we're going to do a push back we're going to put our tail in that direction so that we can go out there and intercept the taxiway to get onto whiskey 2 all right let's contact the people on the ground and ask them to give us a push back We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Every time we're to push, tail to the right. Parking brake is released, please. Parking brake is released. We're going to start engine number one. So I'm starting released. on generator one today. And then I'm going to turn off the air conditioning so that we can redirect that compressor air to engine number one. Here we go. Okay, and starting engine number one. I'm looking for this to build up to 24. The start valve has opened. The low pressure oil light will come off in just a moment. 24, introduce the fuel. And we should hear the engines kick in in just a moment. There they 
go. We have a start, so switching now to engine number two. And we're watching for this build up on the N2 gauge. When that gets to 24, we will bring in the fuel. The start valve has opened. Low oil pressure light is still on, but we're looking for that to go off. There we go. Putting in the fuel. Parking brake is set. Brake set. And steering pin is pulled. Watch for the slip release vents on your right and in flight. Thank you. We're looking for 115 volts appearing up on here. There it is. We have a good start. So, runway taxi lights are on. RTO is set. And generators are on, probe heaters on, anti ice stop needed, isolation valve closed, engine stop, idle key 10, by deck door closed, recall, check. And we're switching now to main engines. Air conditioning on and APU is off. Flight controls check, flaps. Flaps five, green lights, stabilizer trim, unit is correct, auto brake is RTO check. Speed brake lever is down and detent. Ground equipment is clear, we are set. To taxi. All right. Here we go. Brakes are off. And give a little boost to get unstuck.
one taking off. Runway 10, orbit 407. 
thousand feet. So now we can climb. Okay, going through five thousand, going on to standard.
taking a left turn in a moment onto that, so we'll need to set in 052 for our heading coming in now. And wiring the VOR ILS lock. There we are, we've got it. And we've skirted the weather. We did all right on the weather. Manchester Tower, Moody, Oscar, Yankee, Tango, Echo, Alpha, Rivian, Runway, 5 left, East, Departure. Moody, Oscar, Yankee, Tango, Echo, Alpha, cleared for takeoff, Runway, 5 left. Departure to the East, approved. Cleared for takeoff, Runway, 5 left, Moody, Tango, Echo, Alpha. Oh, we don't have the runway in sight yet, but it's out there somewhere underneath that rain. Ah, there it is. Now I've got the runway in sight. Just coming up. And we have some vicious weather out there. So, locking onto the approach. We're on the glide slope. And resetting the altitude to 3,500 in case of a missed approach. We have the runway in sight. Speed is 2, good. 2,500. Check. We're on the glide slope. The air seems to have smoothed out just a little bit.
bunch of Ryanair aircraft out there that we will happily join. good so off 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 and off clean up is complete TCAS is off clock is stopped and APU right fuel off batteries off and here we are. Stand 15. We made the flight. There was a change, a last minute change. Uh, the ATIS said that they were going to be using runway 23. So I set up for 23. 
And then when we actually contacted the tower, they said, oh no, use five left. So a lot of switching there have to be very fast. It can get very busy in a, in a cockpit when you're coming in for landing. So I hope you enjoyed the flight. Hope that you weren't too uncomfortable back there as we went through that patch of rough air. Sorry about that. Uh, if you want to uh, write any letters of complaint, uh, I'll give you a post box number. I don't know that it's working, but I'll give you one anyway. <laughs> right, and I talk games. I hope you enjoyed the flight. This was your suggestion. I enjoyed it. Thank you for the suggestion. It was a lot of fun. So I'll see you the next time when I am 100% certified normal. How's that? <laughs> Bye.